Hello YouTube, in this video I'm gonna try to convert this radial saw that I bought at the summit for around 40 bucks I think and I'm gonna try to make a CNC router so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace this saw with the router and this is going to be my X axis. Axis. I'm going to try. I'm going to figure out a way to do the X and the C axis by either um, motorizing this up and down. This mechanism that is going up and down to make it the Z axis. And I probably just use some some sliding thing for the y axis. So this is the beginning. This is how it looks before I start. And I will show it as I go by as I progress. Okay. Okay, let's continue the conversion of this radial saw to a CNC router. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top off. But before I do that, I'm going to see how far is the travel on the C axis. The up and down axis, I'm going to see how, how far does it travel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just measure it here. This is the very top. Oh, I'll put a mark. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way down. Okay, once I mark the bottom and the top, seems like the C axis travel is gonna be around four and three quarters four years and three quarters of C axis travel okay so let's take this out to keep the video okay oh nasty all right so I'm gonna take it out and I'll come back when it's out okay we did a little progress here we just uh, disassembled that the blade the saw is here so this is the part I'm gonna use to hold to hold the router so um, I'll figure out a way to hold it and we'll check it out later on so this is gonna be the router so now I have to disassemble the router it might not fit but I will see okay Okay, little progress here. I took the top of the router, as you can see, that's the router. I took the top out, 
and this is the y slider y axis slider and if it's perfect it is if it's perfect the only thing is I'm gonna have to drill some holes on the side here because of the vent of the router is gonna be covered so I need to make holes here and maybe a couple holes here too so it has enough um, for the air the harder to come out of the those holes okay so I'll pause here and continue when I'm ready okay here are the holes that I drill to replace this holes so it seems like we're doing good progress okay now let's attach the top okay we made a little bit more progress um, I drilled the holes and figure out a way to hold it to the other side so I drill a hole with a big washer bolt and then we're gonna just put it together it'll go like that and it's gonna go like that and then I'll screw it and that's it so seems like we're getting there little by little